Hello, my peregrine friends. We are back from our tea break and oh, what a tea. That was really good because the organizers brought some pastries straight from Velasco after we complained earlier today. Earlier today. They still have much to improve, but 15 minutes is better than 5, so let's keep not complaining. <laughs> Winky face. Thank you, organizers. Now, okay, let's start. Now that we are starting the second half of our afternoon, we will see the top 7 drivers, which are Leroy Balcaran, Daisy O'Brien, Chiao Li, Piotr Frolov, Vladimir Gurtsov, Salomon Puma, and Kian Falun. I'm really curious to see how they will all perform, especially Salomon and Kian as they are tied in first. So let's start now with Leroy. Leroy Balcaran is all revved up for an epic race at the West Coast track. With a win in the automation track and a bad performance in the big ring, he's pumped to improve that. He's definitely under some serious pressure inside his head today. Let's see him now. This isn't what I was expecting, because Leroy just made a mild lap and is now at the 10th position following his 1 minute, 25 seconds and 618 milliseconds lap. His risk was 69% and vision 80.3%. Daisy O'Brien is back and more fired up than ever. After a not so good performance in the big ring, she's ready to face her own challenges in the West Coast track. With her competitive spirit and determination, you know she's going to make some serious waves out there. Let's see what she's got now. Whoa, 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 now we're talking. A Daisy took me out of my seat now. She managed to be nearly one second faster than Elisha and stole the third, third position from her. Will someone else be even faster than, da faster than Daisy today? 
I hope so. I just want to see that. Well, this is this is time with one minute, 22 seconds, and 461 milliseconds with a risk of 79% and a vision of 78.7%. Xiao Li is ready to take on the competition at West Coast Track. After finishing second in the big ring, he is fired up and determined to snag a higher spot. With his talent, talent and competitive spirit, Xiao is definitely someone to pay attention, so let's see now his point. I knew this was gonna happen, I knew it, what a blast! Well, Chao just stole the third position recently acquired by Daisy. That was intense, Chao made 1 minute, 21 seconds and 864 milliseconds, which is half second faster than Daisy. I guess we are up for even bigger greatness now. Oh, oops, I almost forgot, Chao's risk was 80%, same as Nina, and his vision was 78.4%. Piotr Frolov is getting hyped for an exciting race at the Redwood Forest. After finishing second in his last race, Petya is eager to climb the ranks and show everyone what he's got. Let's see his excitement in the quality now. In comparison to what just happened, Petya's time wasn't as exciting. However, he is at the land of the 1 minute and 23 seconds, right in the middle. His 394 milliseconds brought him to the 7th place. His risk was 76% and vision 78%. So let's see now if he can hold with only 3 other drivers remaining. Vladimir Gurtsov is ready to dominate the Redwood race. After an incredible win in New Zealand where he, where he started in the 7th position and zoomed to 1st, 
and the mild race in the big ring, he's almost on fire and eager to keep his spirit alive. Let's see where he qualified today. What was that, Valodia? What was that? We were all excited and you decided to bring the extreme opposite of it. Anyway, anyway, uh, Vladimir is definitely the last position of the championship with a poor qualifying round. 1 minute 31 seconds is just horrible. He's probably going through some things in his head, definitely. It's not probably, it's definitely. His risk was 61% and vision 78.2%. Salomon Puma is revved up and ready to hit the track. He's at the top of the table and super eager to take on the leadership. With his speed and talent, let's see where he's gonna qualify today. Salomon just entered the 1 minute and 21 seconds realm. He stole the third position from Tiao, acquired just a few minutes earlier, but wasn't fast enough to reach Nina, who's just 400 milliseconds faster than him. And now we are left with the other first place of the competition, which is Kian. And will Kian mix things up at the top of the table? I'm very excited to see. <laughs> oh, well, oh, I almost forgot it. Uh, Salomon's risk was 84% and vision 78.1%. Kian Falun is ready to light up the West Coast track in the Redwood District. After finishing first in his last race, he's pumped to take on the competition with his insane speed and skills. Kian's got the experience and determination to go for the win, and you know he's not, go he's not holding back. Let's see what he's got for today.
with all the excitement that we had the second part of the afternoon, I reckon that it would be very hard for Kim to keep up the hype. His time was really great at 1 minute 22 seconds and 131 milliseconds, securing him the fifth position from Daisy. His vision was 80%, same as Nin and Chao, and his vision was 79.9%. What a second half of afternoon, my Peregrine's friend. Well, that was really great and even Valodia's poor performance added to the excitement and I hope he will do better during the race. So, let's do now our group's division and uh, we will introduce a few changes that the organizers have made to make things a little bit more interesting. Let's start with our third group now. It is composed of the first position and any other that are the first plus three positions or fourth plus three or the seventh plus three and so on. So we have in the pole position Reinaldo Cabral, followed by Tiao Li in second, Elisha Brooks in third, Yolanta Janos in fourth, Poliana Vaz in fifth, Shane Graham in sixth, Teruya Moniak in the seventh position and Vladimir Agurtsov in the eighth position. And from now on, uh, and uh, during the races only, it doesn't apply for the qualifiers. For each completed lap, uh, the risk and the vision of every driver will change a few times throughout the track. And we will not report them individually because it just complicates stuff. Uh, the range that each competitor will have their risk and vision changed will be shown in the tables as you can see now. And to avoid any type of unfairness uh, and issues, we decided to add some bonuses based on the qualification of the driver. So if someone qualified is actually in the starting grid in the eighth position, uh, the driver will get a 15% bonus on the risk. So considering um, uh, Vladimir Agurtsov now, his range is within the 60 and 66 percent for his risk so let's suppose that uh it decide, decides to go with six percent risk for the first part of the track it will automatically add 15 percent so he will go with a 75 percent risk from that point to the next and each uh position based on the starting grid will have its own bonus so Someone in the 7th position, who started at the 7th position, will get a 12%, 6th, in the 6th position, 9%, 6% for the 5th, 3% for the 4th, 2% for the 3rd, and 1% from the for the 2nd. Anyone who is starting first will get no bonus throughout the entire race. We just ask you to keep in mind that this is just to ensure that we have a very interesting race. Uh, when there was no bonus, the Re Reynaldo just went like crazy and no one could catch him. Well, anyway, uh, it, this, uh, those numbers and all of these bonuses, they are, being, they are generated mainly to create the personas of the AI drivers. And uh, we are collecting them and uh, we were just not reporting them. Uh, this is just technical stuff and uh, just to make things more interesting. His smiley face. So, for our second group, following the same rules as for the third group that I just mentioned, but now considering from our third position plus three, then the sixth plus three, then the ninth plus three, and so on. I know it should be from the second, but I just I just literally found an error that inverted the second to the third in my formula. So this has been fixed for the next event. And uh, let's continue with what we have because they have already raced. Uh, in the pole position, we have Salomon Puma and Daisy O'Brien second, Piotr Frolov in third, Tomasa Barquera in fourth, Leroy Balkaran in fifth, and Gustavo, oh, for, sorry, Gustavo Lencar in sixth, and Ayotun Van Likunayo in seventh. Last but not least, for our last and the first group. Again, considering from the second position plus three, then fifth plus three, and I won't repeat myself as I hope it is clear already. In the pole position, we have Nina Hill. In second, Kian Falun. Juliana Fraga is in third. Arthur Walker in fourth. Zacharias Galano Blow in the fifth position. 
Donatella Vitello in 6th and Chimbai Dargan in the 7th position. And now that the, this video is taking so long and I hope you're still with me, uh, by the way, let me know in the comments by writing yes mate, I'm here in the groups, so I know you are a real fan. So let's finish with today's qualifying as the team the team here uh, is, uh, is also very tired. It is dark and the city, for whatever reason, today has no lights on in the streets. So we'll have to be very careful on the road now. We'll ask why you're doing this. Anyway, you, I'll see you guys during the races. We'll start with the third group and also tell us who are your favorite drivers, driver, drivers. We'd love to be. So have a great party today. Either morning, afternoon, even more night. Why now?